You're from L.A., you're from Compton. And I tell people this, like everybody's experience, you might come from somewhere, but your experience might be unique to you. Right. What was it like for you growing up in Compton? Um, I mean, thinking a lot of the negativity that I was going through was norm, mm -hmm. but having, having uh, a, a circle around me to teach me the right way to go about right. things. You know, it was so easy to get caught up in a lot of neg negativity that was going on, a lot of temptation to go the wrong way. But I was unique because even in a neighborhood I grew up in, a lot of people always steered me away from a lot of the negative right. stuff. You know, and they seen something in me that I probably didn't see in myself at right. the time. Right. But having that helped me and propelled me in the right direction and continue to go after whatever it was I was after. And that was something positive. So for me, um, that was unique because I, I, I look back at it to this day and, and not know where I'd be if I didn't have that type of circle around me. Did you always want, did you know you always wanted to play basketball? You always wanted to be a professional basketball player? Yeah, I always wanted to do anything sp sports wise. Okay. It was, uh, I try, try baseball, you know. My, my, my you try football? No, nah, my mom would my mom wouldn't let me try football. <laughs> I, I'm, and I'm glad. But in the streets we played football and right. I I always had a passion for football. Like right. I wanted to play. I wanted to play. If I get an opportunity, I'm gonna play, but I'm glad I didn't because <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. But you know, you always had those 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 dreams and right. aspirations, but I didn't know, but I knew I wanted to make it out. I didn't right. know how. Right. But I knew it was whatever positive route I needed to take, I was gonna do it. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we do something before two something.